Okay, so fifth year revision sheet, and this is question three, part A. So it's an inequality, it's 2x squared plus x minus 15 is greater than or equal to zero. So it's a quadratic function and it's greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize it. So you have your 2x and your x and to get minus 15, so it's going to be um, 5 and 3 and it's going to be minus 5 and it's going to be plus 3. So minus 5x plus 6x giving me the 1x in the middle. Okay, and I'm just going to put it equal to zero because I'm going to take care of my inequality in a few seconds. So I'm just going to solve. So 2x minus 5 equals to zero. x plus 3 equals to zero. x equals to minus 3. 2x equals to 5. x is equal to 5 over 2. Okay, or 2 and a half. Okay, now I'm going to look at my inequality. So my quadratic graph and my graph is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so it's a quadratic. So... When I draw my diagram, I know what it's going to look like. I know what the shape is going to be. Okay, so it's quadratic, so it's going to be a U shape or an N shape. And I know it's going to be a U shape because of um, the sign in front of the X squared, which is positive. I know it's going to cut the X axis at 2.5 and, and at um, minus 3. Okay, so I'm going something like, something like that. So that's your minus 3 and that's your 2.5. Half, okay, and the graph is greater than or equal to zero. The graph, remember, which is f of x, which is the same as y. So where are the y values greater than or equal to zero? So the y values are greater than or equal to zero above the x axis. So my graph is above the x axis out here. So if I were to go to a value of minus four, I get a corresponding positive y value. Minus five, a corresponding positive y value. And over on this side, um, once again to the right of two and a half. So if I were to go to three, I'll get a positive y value. Four, I'll get a positive y value. So my inequality is going to be x values which are going to be less than or equal to minus three and x values which are going to be greater than or equal to two and a half. And that's my inequality. Okay, so part B, which is three simultaneous equations. It's x plus y plus z equal to 16. And it is five over two x plus y plus 10z is equal to 40 and 2x plus a half y plus 4z is equal to 21. So the first thing in this case what, what um, would be advisable is to get rid of um, the fractions. Too confusing, okay? So multiply um, this equation across by 2. So you're going to be left with 5x plus 2y plus 20z is equal to 80. And multiply this across by 2, so you're going to be left with 4x plus y plus 8z is equal to 42. Now, so we're going to take our x plus y plus z equal to 16 and these two equations um, that we've gotten um, rid of the fractions in, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first and second equation. So x plus y plus z is equal to 16 and 5x plus 2y plus 20z is equal to 80. Okay, and in the first um, two equations, I'm going to get rid of y. It's, it's the easiest to get rid of. So I'm going to multiply the top line by minus 2. Okay, so I'm going to get minus 2x minus 2y minus 2z is equal to minus 32. And my second line remains the same. 5x plus 2y plus... Uh, 20z is equal to 80. Okay, so add my two equations together, minus, minus 2y and my plus 2y cancel, and I'm left with 3x plus 18z is equal to um, 80, take away 32, which is 48. So I have 3x plus 18z is equal to 48, and, and you can see that that can be simplified, so I'm going to divide across by 3. So it's going to be x plus 6z is equal to 16. So that is my new simultaneous equation with two variables that I'm going to use um, in a few moments uh, to solve. So back to my three equations again and I'm going to take my first equation and I'm going to take my third equation. Okay so x plus y plus z is equal to 16 and 4x plus y plus 8z 
is equal to 42. The reason I'm going for my first there is because it's easier. There's no um, number in front of x, y, or z, so it just makes it makes it easier. So in this one, I'm going to get rid of definitely easier to get rid of y. So just going to multiply um, the top line across by minus one. So minus x minus y minus z is equal to minus 16, and 4x plus y plus 8z is equal to 42. Okay, so add the two lines, so you're left with 3x plus 7z is equal to 42 to go to 16, which is 26. Okay, so now um, I have my um, another simultaneous equation, which is two um, variables, x and z. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, the first equation that I found and that last equation that I found, I'm going to solve for x and z first of all, so I'm just going to move up here. So x plus 6z is equal to 16 and 3x plus 7z is equal to 26. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of um, the x's, so I'm going to multiply this line by minus 3. Okay, so I'm going to get minus 3x and I'm going to get minus 18z and I'm going to get minus 48 and 3x plus 7z is equal to 26 okay my 3x when I add my two lines together my 3x and my plus 3x cancel and I'm left with minus 18 plus 7 which is minus 11z and minus 48 plus 26 which is minus 22 so z is equal to 2. Now the value for z so very easy to go back and find a value for x so I'm just going to use my First equation, x plus 6z is equal to 16. So x plus 6 by 2 is equal to 16. x plus 12 equals 16, so x is equal to 4. So now I have solved for x and I've solved for z. So very, very easy to solve for um, x, y. So I'm going to take my first equation once again because there's, there's less work. So I'm just going to move over here. x plus y plus z is equal to 16. So 4 plus y plus 2 is equal to 16 so y plus 6 equals 16 and uh, y is equal to 10. So are my three variables.